So here's the hood up guys and here's the beast that lies underneath. Like I said, D15 baby. Um, I took the spark plug coils out and looked down in the spark plug tube and they're pretty much full with oil so I know the seals are leaking. It's pretty rough. Um, this is amazing. I actually had this battery on a trickle charger like for four days now and it is a solid light meaning it has reached peak voltage and it's in the float charge mode now. So this battery has been sitting for five years. The sticker says 514 on it. And last time this car was registered was 2016. So I'm thinking that that battery's been sitting for at least three years, completely dead. It came back to life, I hope. That'll save a hundred bucks. I'm gonna fire this baby up for you guys and uh, listen to some old nasty Honda love here. into this old thing purr. This just confirms you can't kill a Honda. The rest of the car will literally sink into the ground and rot to death, but the engine will still freaking run. Let's give it some revs, boys. Oh yeah. Open cat right now because the rest of the exhaust rotted off. But this thing idles better than my H jack. Listen to this thing. No vacuum leaks. Transmission, different story. It's leaking oil kind of everywhere. Every time I rev it, more rust falls off. It's kind of hilarious, but um, yep, she's ready to go, man. Shit's f***ing mint. Ready? I like this game. Yeah, this works great. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. Right now I'm filming with my iPhone because this is kind of last minute. But I wanted to give you guys an update on the little little D project, the little Del Sol. Um, got all the interior gutted. Just sold the interior last night for 150 bucks. Uh, besides the seats. Still got the driver's seat in there. So right now the car has only cost me 175 with selling the interior. Uh, we got it running. It's got almost uh, 285,000 miles. Listen to that D15B per. Of course, right now the exhaust is rotted off right after the catalytic converter, um, but it does idle nicely. It runs smoothly. Transmission is very smooth, actually. There's no play in the shifter mechanism either. Um, everything's very tight. But right now, this is what the car looks like. This floor is a lot more solid than the other side because the rain leaked through the top and it's just been collecting underneath the carpet on the other side for probably five years of sitting. It's a little sketchy. We may weld in some plates on the bottom to redo a new floor. So I'm taking it away from my house here in the Hudson Valley, New York, and bringing it up north to the Albany area where my buddy has a shop. So I want to check today the structural integrity of the car on the lift and when we get up to the Albany area at his shop. As you all know from my last video, there is an exceptional amount of rust on the rear of the car. <clears throat> I'll take you to this side, but this side's way worse. Like I said, the uh, car is held together with a license plate like bondoed in there and the frame rails rotted all the way up to about where the control arm connects to the frame. The subframe on the bottom does look solid which is promising however the subframe is only connected to the frame right where it's pretty rotted right there so we got to evaluate if it's worth it to dump the money in this car to put a cage and whatnot in it. Um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's kind of uh, you know lemons allows you to technically quote unquote faithfully spend $500 on the car, but right now I have a $175 car, but it runs. And um, hopefully I already have somebody lined up to buy the transmission and the shift linkage out of this because they want to convert their Del Sol from an automatic to a manual. So I made a deal with him yesterday, around another 150 bucks. So that makes the car virtually free at that point. And then we still have the running D15B engine to sell because uh, we want to put a B-Series in this, get a little more power for the lemons race. Um, but stay tuned, guys. So here we are. We have arrived at the shop. Everything went well. No problems towing the little D up to uh, the Albany area here. 
So there's a lift in here and we will be checking it out here in a minute. <laughs> 